I'm going to show you the OCO meta rigs. OCO means open cutout format. So this is a format used to export and import meta rigs. A meta rig is a complete armature predefined for characters. On this open cutout panel in Duik, you'll just find a simple library with the categories where you can find predefined armatures for all kinds of animals. If you double click on one of the items, Duik just creates the corresponding armature. For example, this is the simple human created in just a double click. It is simple because it doesn't have a joint for the toes and the spine is made of a single layer. The advanced human would have more joints uh, more details, especially the toes and a spine with more layers for a better curve. The idea with these predefined armatures is that you can create a character very quickly and they are ready to be auto-rigged by Duik in a single click. So it's very, very quick to create a complete character using these meta rigs. For example, here with just a single click, Duik creates the complete rig for the character. This is the rigged character and ready to be animated. Uh, of course, I'd need to create, to draw an actual character to parent it to this structure, to this armature. So, as I said, you have a few categories like this with all kinds of animals. Uh, lots of them are included in Duik. So you can create any kind of animal very quickly and the list will be completed in the future. These are the first examples we've included. This is based on an open format, open cutout, which is actually just a single and simple file which contains all the information needed to create these characters. If you click on the folder icon, Duik opens the folder containing this library with all the files. By default, it is in your documents folder. And then you have the categories and inside the OCO files, which are these open files containing the meta rigs and all information needed to rig a character. So the interesting thing with this is that it's an open format we are developing. It's not completely finished yet. And this means you can have the same panel, the same way to create characters in other software, for example, especially in Blender, uh, to uh, create the same kind of 2D cutout characters in Blender. And we are also going to develop plugins for Photoshop, Krita, Illustrator, for example, not for rigging the character, but to help the design and create the characters according to predefined armatures, which then can be rigged in a single click without even needing to open another software like After Effects Blender. The rig can be finished right out of the drawing software. You can already export your own OCO files and meta rigs using Duik. Let's create a custom armature with Duik. Uh, let's say just a simple leg. I can customize this leg any way I want changing any setting and changing the, the length of the different parts. And now I can add it to my library. Let's create a new category, which we'll call Other Limbs. And inside this new category, I can create a new meta rig using either all the bones of the composition or only the selected bones. You can select an icon if you wish, which will be included in the OCO file used to display the item in the library. And just give it a name, like a leg, and the height of the character. This is used to create the meta rigs in an existing composition at the right size. If you have both a human and a rabbit in the same comp, they will be created at the same, at the right height, the right size. So let's say it's a hundred centimeters and the file should appear in the list if it does not just refresh with the refresh button. And now I can create the same leg at any time by just double clicking on this item. And I can also find the file and this file, this leg.oco file can be shared with anyone or maybe I could even share the whole folder, the whole library. Uh, you can change the folder containing the library. If you alt click on the folder icon, you can select another folder. This is a way to have several multiple libraries. And one, one other thing, interesting thing with this OCO file is that it doesn't contain only the bones, but also the envelope information. If you shift click on the create button, you'll find the show envelopes button. And you could even create a character in a new comp. So let's check this show envelope button 
and this way you create the armature and shows all the envelopes predefined as they are saved in the OCO file. This is very useful. If you want to use an armature, which would be a reference to design the character, for example, here, let's create the pig with the envelopes. So this is a pig and you can use this armature and these envelopes to know how to design the pig with working joints. Uh, this is a good reference to start a design. So even when you create your own custom armatures, you can already define the size of the envelopes and they will be saved in the OCO file, which then you can import in Photoshop, Illustrator, Brander, or any other file treater too. In a uh, near future, when we will have finished to develop the corresponding plugins. And finally, as in all the libraries included in Duke, like the animation library too, or the script library, you can save some items in the favorites category. For example, if I use a lot the simple human, I can modify the item to check the favorites option, and now it's listed in the favorites category. You also have the most used category, and so here I have almost everything because I tested everything, and the most recent, so it's that's the history of the creation you know, what you've used recently. So all libraries in Duik work this way, and you could even very quickly create something by just typing the name in the field on top. For example, ungulate, and I just hit space, and then pig, and this creates the pig really quickly. So this is the new OCO panel in Duik, and this is just a start because we are still developing this new format. So uh, we hope this will simplify a lot the rigging process. So you'll be able to rig characters right out of the drawing software in a single click.